Okay, George, this is the 1600 uh, mount that I just received here uh, earlier in the week. And I've got all these black knobs loose. Okay, and I'm going to go, and this is the standard length, length counterweight shaft. So I'm going to go to the very end, and I wanted to show you this play. Okay, now I'm going to tighten all three black knobs just by hand. Okay, so all three of these are now tight just by hand. I'm going to go to the very end of the counterweight shaft again. And lift. So, it's not as bad, but it still moves, George. I was just wondering, is that normal? Okay, another thing I noticed, George, is the difference in the tightness between the RA uh, shaft here and the deck shaft. Now I'll show you here. Now this this moves. Now these these are loose on all three of them. Okay, and it moves very free. Really, no friction. To damn near, uh, I would say, adjust this without even loosening the uh, the new gearboxes. It just it seems to move that free. Okay. Okay. So let me take the tension off the gear. And okay, a little more tension there. It definitely was freer, but I just okay. So again, these were all loose. So now what I want to show you is how tight this deck shaft is. So these are all loose. And I mean I'm putting some force on it there. It's pretty damn snug. Okay. It's very snug. Extremely snug. So I'm going to go ahead and Pull the worm back and you see that it, it's now it's now loose, okay, which it should be. And it's real real tight. So there's there's a major difference. Of course I don't have the leverage arm that I did on the other, but again just rotating this with everything loose very very snug which is fine with me okay very it's this is much snugger than the right ascension there so I just don't know if something isn't adjusted or, or what's going on but I just wanted to show you that George the video is so much easier than trying to talk to you over the phone okay George so I've got the the three clutches they're loose okay so it's totally loose just using one hand like this and gripping this you see how easy it is okay now the worm is still engaged but you see how easy this is to turn it takes hardly any effort okay now I'm going to disengage the worm and as it should be of course it moves nice and free I'm going to re-engage the worm and again just with the one hand here gripping it like you see I can easily turn it. Now there's there's obviously tension, but it turns without any any uh, undue force on my part. Okay, George. So what we have here is the top of the deck axis. I've got the clutches completely loose, and just like I tried to turn the right ascension axis, how easy it turned by hand. You can see the force. I mean, a great amount of force. I literally have to turn it like this to really be able to turn it, which is fine, okay? This is probably the way it has to be. I'm sure there's no play in this. But I just wanted to show you with all the kind of configurations how this is. So if I just try it one-handed, I can turn it, but it's just, just extremely tight. Now, of course, we're going to go up here, disengage the worm, 
and as you can see it loosens up so I again I'm just checking George I don't know and like I said I just got this mount Monday today is Saturday and I just wanted to I noticed that play down here I noticed the play here and I in, in the RA axis and I just wanted to do the video because the video is going to be much easier than trying to tell you what I'm seeing and um, so hopefully you can be of some help and tell me I, I, I just don't think this should be that loose down here and um, hopefully this will help you in determining what might need to be done or if not all right thanks okay George I'm on the east side of the uh, mount down below and um, the clutch knobs are loose and you can see how the play there should that be doing that now that's the standard length counterweight shaft and the neighbors pulling pulling up on it on the very end okay George now what I did is I hand tightened them we're in the same position I hand tightened all the clutches and then I just used the uh, Allen thing here hex thing and just snugged it just a hair more so it's just a hair tighter than what a hand tight would be and you can see there's still a hair of play it's not as bad so I don't know again just wondering if this is correct if, if, if this is okay